time to what? What did I do? <laughs> I see. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, it's time to go visit the mysterious Mr. Wade. Come on, Miss Cooper. It's full of trash. Figure that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Oh, come on. This is an adventure game. Adventure games require you to get your hands dirty. It's that homeless guy who helped me distract Lenny. Hmm. We meet again, Mr. Homeless Guy. That's the worst thing I ever heard of, and totally untrue. So, what's up with the trash can? Digging for treasure? Well, uh, I'm just going through a rough patch. By the way, you owe me ten bucks. Nah, you agreed to seven. You're busting my balls here. Better get those balls checked out in this clinic, then. <laughs> so cold. Like a stake through the heart. Hmm. What do they call you, anyway? Gober. Everyone calls me Gober. Alright. I'm Kathy. Pleasure to meet you. So, what's your story, anyway? My story? Yeah. Don't all bums have a story? For your information, this is all just a dry streak in my showbiz career. Is that so? I don't recognize you at all. I used to have more hair. That, I actually believe. Come on, man! Frankie Gold is my stage name. Surely you must have heard of me. Not really, no. Oh, come on! I have starred in dozens of Hollywood movies. The Silence of the Lambert? Jacob's Bladder? Right. The Usual Surprises? Natural Bald Killers? Not ringing any bells. Not really. Kids these days, no appreciation for quality cinema. Breaks my heart. Yeah, I want to know more. So, tell me about this acting career of yours. What about it? Tell me about The Silence of Lambert. Lawrence Lambert, a real estate agent, suddenly turns mute overnight. For weeks, he tries to communicate with customers using a self-invented sign language, only to realize that true love needs no communication at all. Of course. He marries his housekeeper, who only knows two words in English, yes and clean. In the end, Lawrence dies of a heart attack in the arms of his lovely wife, Consuelo Lambert Vasquez. Based on a true story. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure I want to know what Jacob's Bladder is about, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Jacob's Bladder. The tragic story of Jacob Cobb, a schizophrenic man who forms an imaginary romantic relationship with his bladder. What? During long and joyful monologues on the can, he starts referring to his nether regions by the name of Jenny. Sadly, before Jacob has a chance to elope with his sweetheart, he gets committed to an asylum due to increasingly erratic behavior. Yeah, no shit. After a big fight with his paramour, Jacob refuses to pee for a week, and he dies from a ruptured bladder. Jacob's Ladder was a good movie, though. I love that. Give me the rundown on The Usual Surprises. A lighthearted comedy taking place during the surprise birthday party of 34-year-old Sid McBacon. The story is told from eight different perspectives to keep the audience guessing who the protagonist of actually course. is. The movie ends with the biggest surprise of them all. Sid suddenly dies of an epileptic seizure. Mm -hmm. That's the big twist, of course. I guess it's more of a dark comedy. Natural bald killers? It's a dystopian vision of the future where people are valued by the quality of their hair. The protagonist, Eddie Zephyr, turns bald in high school. One day, he has simply had enough of all the teasing and the bullying, and he completely snaps and heads out on a scalping spree in search of the perfect head of hair. 
and he makes his way to Mexico for an illegal hair transplant. However, he has an adverse reaction to the anesthesia and he dies on the operating table. Uh -huh. Why do you always die at the end of your movies? Typecasting. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a tough business, buddy. Don't be too hard on yourself. Oh, never mind. Not the culture type. I understand. I need to ask you a few questions. Sounds serious. Ask away. Ah, uh, so now we can actually talk to him the way we talk to other people. Interesting. I'm gonna go through my items first. Do you know anything about this flower? It's red? <sighs> Enlightening. Do you know what this is? Chinese fireworks, of course. I grew up in Shanghai, I know what I'm talking about. They used to call me Dung Pai, meaning round-eyed baldy. Those were some rough years. I miss the food, not to mention the women. Got two kids down there now. Maylin and Little Pink. Time to hit the off switch now, buddy. I don't need to show him that. Do you know what this key opens? Your heart, mademoiselle? Of course. Oh, brother. Do you recognize these men? That's your granddad, right? Hmm. Yeah. What about the other two? No idea. I think my face blindness is acting up again. Okay. So you basically just guessed, didn't you? I don't need to sh Wanna smoke, buddy? Nah, I got stage two lung cancer. I'm keeping it under control with a fruitarian diet. I don't need to show him that. I could, but only if I had a really good reason. <laughs> Kathy, you are such a bitch. I don't need to show him that. I love you. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? I most certainly do! What? Tell me! Are you sure you want to know? Not everyone can handle the truth. Oh, just spit it out! Okay, here we go. Ready? Abducted by aliens. Ah, <sighs> I should have known better. Oh, I saw it, man. A big, huge light. I was a bit drunk at the time, but I had my reasons. My wife had just left me, taking the dog, not to mention I was being conscripted for the war. Of course. But I'm telling you, those goddamn aliens took him and they experimented on him. And that's why he was so messed up when they put him back. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Open your mind, man! Yeah, I'm not unwilling to believe something strange is going on, but this guy is so obviously full of shit. Do you recognize the nickname Cocky? Why, I used to call myself that back in now. Oh, how I miss that marvelous youthful ego of mine. Ah, <sighs> why do I even bother? Do you know who Lily Myers was? Yep, my dad was the one who found her floating in the lake. What? Really? What can you tell me about her? Ah, uh, geez, not a lot. I mean, teenage girls, man, they're like their own species. Impossible to figure out. Not to mention how that entire family ain't, like, people-friendly. Hmm. Now that's an understatement. Nearly started brawling with Sue the first time I met her. Yeah, she could sure deal out of me whooping that lady. Do you know who Charles Wade is? Sure, he's been holed up in this clinic for the last couple of weeks. You saw Charles Wade go in there? Well, yeah. I just told you, man. How did he look? Okay, I guess. Still walking, at least. So, you actually know a few things, don't you? You act like an idiot, but... Hmm. What do you know about Lily Meyer's art? Nothing but hearsay. People say it was pretty deranged. What's your opinion on the Church of the Holy Trinity? I'd say they're good people. Isaac the priest is, anyway. His dad, Father Bill, on the other hand, though, 
He and the people he had around him were into some weird shit. What kind of weird shit? I don't know. Uh, they were like a cult or something, with Billy Praise himself at the top. Really shifty bunch of folks. Isaac turned it all around when his dad kicked the bucket, made it a proper church. Interesting. Do you know anyone else who was involved in the old church? Not really. I tried to stay as far away from those people as possible. Ask Isaac about it. He's a friendly guy. All right. I might do that. We will. We definitely will. That seems to be about it. Okay. That's enough serious questions for now. All righty. Thanks, buddy. Okay. I'm off. Bye. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Was there more to see to the right of here? No, nothing. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Smoking allowed. Guess this place is a bit behind on healthcare regulations. A calendar from 1991. Hmm, guess they really liked that year expecting plastic, but this looks like a real plant. No thanks. Women's magazines make my brain melt. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You're not exactly the most girly of girls. Comfortable, hard plastic chairs. It's like they're intentionally trying to keep people out. Rows and columns of files. Probably easier to use the computer if I need to do some digging. I can't read it from here. Then get closer. Get in there. I can't read it from here. Hmm. A computer. They likely keep records of their patients on it. Pretty sure she would object to that. Yeah, I imagine. She looks bored out of her mind. Pretty understandable, to be honest. Excuse me, nurse? Hello? Hey, nurse! <sighs> yeah? Um, wow. Those are all kind of dick replies. Pay you much, huh? No shit. What do you want? I'm here to see Charles Wade. Never heard of him. Anything else? Bullshit. Bullshit. I know he's here. Listen, it's okay. I'm a friend of the family. No, you're not, and I said he's not here. Don't make me call security. What a bitch. I need to get rid of her somehow. Hmm. Again? No thanks. I'm gonna have to think outside the box. Okay. And then, thinking outside the box, I will. Time for a smoke break, don't you think? What? You smoke? No way. Those things will kill you. Hmm. Then... Would she object if I did? I prefer to smoke outdoors. I see. Hmm. I don't want to show her that. I can't do anything while she's sitting there. Right. I don't want to... I don't want to show. Hmm. No thanks. Women's mag. I doubt I can go upstairs. I can.
can. Oh. No point. I wouldn't even know what room to go to. If it were up to me, I'd just be knocking on every door. Hmm. Stun gun her. I don't want to zap that. Why not? I wish, but she'd just call security on me. It's thousands of volts. She won't be calling anyone. Maybe, maybe our bum can help us out. You wanna... You wanna make another few... Hey, doofus. Oh, hi! So... How good an actor are you? Here we go. The best! The very best! You know, that nurse in there, she said she loved you in all those movies. And that she always wished you'd give her a live performance. I know it! She always gave me these strange looks. I thought it was contempt, but her face must just be cramping up from shyness. Yeah, that's definitely it. She'd love to see you act, I'm sure. I'm gonna have to oblige. Which movie do you think she'd like the best? Ooh. Ooh, I wasn't actually paying that much attention. Hmm. Gets an epileptic seizure. I forgot what this one was. Hmm. How about the usual surprises? Business as usual. did all this for me you know I uh, what's the smell bacon oh body my head hurts I'm seizing <laughs> thank you thank you you've been a great audience yeah that was not the reaction I was expecting that wasn't really an Electrifying performance. I'll have to intervene somehow. I see. Oh, am I am I going to have to zap the bum? Hey, doofus. Oh, hi. Right before I intervene. Hey, how about another show? Sure. Any suggestions? Before I intervene, I just want to see them all, just because. Probably the silence of Lambert. Oh, I'm gonna be loud. Al Consuelo, how I wish I could speak. I have so many things left to say. My chest, no, it can't be. Thank you, thank you, you've been a great audience. Sure. Let's see, I've done this one, I've done this one. Definitely Jacob's bladder. I'm feeling the pressure. I bet you do. Oh, Jenny, everything is forgiven. 
heaven. You and me were like peas and carrots. I'm just so full of your love that I think I'm about to burst. Kitty, where did you go? Oh, I don't feel so good. Thank you, thank you. You've been a great audience. Yeah, he's not... He's not great, is he? Hey. Oh, hi. Let's hey. see. Hey. Sure. Let's see the last Natural one. Natural bald killers would be the obvious choice. Bald move. surprised that's actually an achievement okay so what I'm gonna try now I think this is what I'm supposed to hey, do hey doofus oh hi hey how about sure I think it doesn't actually matter which one how I about take the usual surprises business The only thing that's important is that I zap the guy. I can't believe you guys did all this for me. You know I have. Uh, what's this smell? Bacon? Oh, Bobby, my head hurts. Here we go. I'm seizing. <laughs> Nurse, he's seizing. Oh shit. Wow, Kathy, that was kind of dark. Man, I feel like a total jackass. I'll have to make it up to the poor guy later. Yeah, that was really a bitch move. That doesn't need rows and columns of files. Wait, 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 wait. Go to the notice board first. Employee of the month, Carlita Mendez. What a joke. It's that obnoxious nurse. Hmm. Can I use the boot disk? Hold on. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to use the boot disk. See any reason to break this computer? I thought so. See Mendez, other gator. See Mendez, other gator. Too 
bad. Okay, let's let's look for Charles. Um, Wade. Here we go. Hmm. Room six B. Now, is there anyone else? I want to look up while I'm here. Rain Summers. No. Myers Summers. No, I think that's about it. Hold on. This is a wild guess, but... No. Okay. And one more. Finally, we get to meet him. It's all right, Claude. Understood, sir. So, you managed to find me. I did. Well, let's get this over with then. How do you want your pictures? Shall I get some tubes to fill my face with? Will that suffice for your front page? I'm no journalist. Well, not yet anyway. Ah, she's but a cub. So, you're hoping for your big break. Surely this must be worth an internship at one of the big papers. Do you want me to call Thompson at the Times and get it over with? I still play golf with him every once in a while. That's not what this is about. It's personal. Sounds serious. Perhaps I should ask Claude to produce his gun. Oh, come on, buddy. You know, Charles, the person most likely to be harmed by a gun tends to be its owner. Very true. That's something the Japs who captured me learned the hard way. Did my grandfather bail you out then too, or was that one of the few times where he didn't save your sorry ass? Hold on there. Explain yourself. You're willing to listen to something other than your own voice? I'm stunned. <sighs> I'm Kathy Rain. Joseph was my grandfather. Now I remember. You were at the funeral. I was. You were late. I needed my morning smoke. Besides, it's not like Grandpa was going anywhere. Cold. <laughs> oh, just look at her, Claude. She's absolutely fearless. That's Joseph's blood running through her veins. She certainly has a smart mouth, sir. I must say, you have me intrigued, Kathy. What can this old man help you with? All right. Finally, we meet the elusive Charles Wade. He's being cooperative at the moment. I shouldn't push my luck. Yeah, after a heart surgery, that wouldn't be a great idea. I don't need to show him that. Yes, you do. I want to know about the damn initials. This is killing me. I don't need to show him that. I don't need to show him that. Do you recognize this, Charles? Of course he does. Of course. Your grandfather, me, Jimmy Cochran. Taken shortly before we went to the war. That guy's name is Jimmy Cochran? Yes. 
He used to go by the nickname Cocky. Mm. He was a coward, really. The nickname is somewhat of a bad joke. Ah, I see. Do you know what this key opens? You must be truly desperate if you ask random people a question like that. Yes. Yes, I am. I don't need to show him that. What do you see in this picture, Charles? Fireflies would be my best guess. They can grow terribly large around these parts. Do you know what this is? A flower. Why don't you consult a botanist instead of bothering me with this nonsense? All right, let's get down to the meat of the matter. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather in 81? I wish I did, Kathy. You must know I did everything in my power to help. How do you think Mary Elizabeth could afford all that expensive treatment? MRIs, neurologists, say what you will about Joseph. But he was never rich. Strange. Grandma never mentioned that to me. She's just too proud. At first she refused. She was convinced that I had an agenda, that there were strings attached. And were there? Don't be silly. Despite all that had happened, I still loved Joseph dearly. I wanted to help. People from places like this have a deeply rooted mistrust in the rich, passed on for generations. In her eyes, I had become one of them. So that's all you know about the whole affair? Are you implying that there's more to know? I left the diagnosis to the professionals. Mrs. Rain accepted the healthcare, but asked me to stay out of everything else. So I did. I see. What can you tell me about your friendship with Grandpa? Joseph was the best friend I ever had. We grew up together. Married our high school sweethearts together. Went to war together. I can't even begin to count the number of times he's saved my life. I repaid the favor once or twice. But he came up ahead, no doubt. So, when did you two lose touch? I heard that something happened between you and him. What was it? The truth is, Brian Rain happened. Sharon Evans happened. My parents? Yes. They ruined everything with their vile, destructive behavior. I couldn't have that around my daughter or my newborn grandson. Joseph was naive. He believed that anyone could be helped, that anyone could be reasoned with, given a chance. He was just... Too good, bless him. He should have been harder on Brian. More strict. So our family started drifting apart. Eventually my company grew much too large for this little town, and we moved on. Not long after that, your grandfather ended up in that wheelchair. That marked the end of our friendship, for obvious reasons. Tell me about Jimmy Cochran. Is he still alive? In a literal sense. He's been held in a mental institution for years. Really? Let me guess. Since 81? Either 82 or 83. I'm fairly certain it was early 83. Do you remember the name of the institution? Something starting with an E. Uh, Emerson, Everton, or similar. Ingstrom? Ingstrom Psychiatric Hospital? No. Yes, that's the one. Her mother. You know the place, Kathy. I do. My mother is in there. Sharon Evans? I had her committed about a year ago. I see. It must have taken a lot of courage to do that, Kathy. Mothers have a lot of power for us, more than most of us care to admit. I guess so. Do you know why Jimmy ended up in there? Some obsessive compulsive syndrome. He became fixated with circles and started hurting himself, trying to scratch the circles out of his head. Creepy. 
I wonder what set him off. I think I'll check the place out tomorrow. Too late to head back to the city now. And now the thing I wanted to know about most. You bought a number of paintings by Lily Myers. Why? I'm known to dabble in art from time to time. Bullshit. Martha, my wife at the time, was enamored with the paintings. I believe she first saw them at the high school which the Myers girl attended. Anyway, after the poor girl killed herself, I bought the painting speculatively. When a young artist with any talent to speak of commits suicide, it can be a wet dream of certain connoisseurs. Shortly after procuring the art, I had it valued by an expert who determined that the value was three times the amount I bought it for. Today, I'm sure I would have made my money back tenfold or more if it wasn't for the art theft. What art theft? There was a burglary at the mansion I used to own here in town. It was all over the local news at the time. Well, shit. Indeed. Eloquently put. Yeah. Exactly what I was going to say. Oh, come on. I... I was sure he knew more. This can't just be... a money thing for him. Can you tell me about the art theft? Well, somebody broke in, stole the paintings, and got out. Fairly clumsy job. Lots of broken windows. The strangest thing was, was that I had a Monet, a Rembrandt, and two paintings by Picasso. Of course. Untouched. And the only thing stolen... But every single painting by an unknown local artist, gone. That can't be a coincidence. Agreed. Somebody wanted those paintings badly. I assume there was an investigation. Yes, Sheriff Truman came by with his deputy a few hours later, but they didn't have much luck. They found a few hairs, which turned out to be from Raffles, the family dog. Some stunning police work right there. Indeed. There was a single witness, though, who said he could make out multiple burglars leaving the scene of the crime, but nothing more than that. So, I take it the case was closed? Yes. I honestly didn't care much one way or the other, given the fact that my most expensive pieces were safe and sound. I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff about the matter, if that's okay with you. Certainly. I'll call ahead and instruct him to give you everything you need. Awesome. That'd be great. Thanks, Charles. Anytime. But I'm curious. What's your interest in the paintings? I've learned that my grandfather went to Sue and asked to see them, right before he had his injury. Is that so? Strange. Are you lying to me, Charles Wade? What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? They seem like any other church to me. But then again, I'm not their usual clientele. Weddings, baptisms, and funerals are just about what I can muster. And I always leave early. That seems to be about it. He's Happen. being cooperative at the moment. Thanks, Charles. That's all I need for now. You're welcome, Kathy. Come back anytime. A private phone. Wade must get special privileges here. Just some boring landscape paintings. Just some boring landscape paintings. Looks like Wade brought some of his old tombs with him. That guy is huge. I wonder how many cows he eats per day. <laughs> God damn it, Kathy. I'd rather not. He crushed me like a twig. Okay. Well, that was, in some ways, illuminating. I guess, next up, we visit the... What was it? The forest and... I will find out.